Look, everybody knew 0-2 was a very good possibility for the Houston Texans. But the way they are losing these games has me a little bit concerned. And, you, I mean, you have to ask the question, is there a way that Bill O'Brien gets the axe this season or even before? We're going to discuss it next. Man, let's cue the intro. It's the city of the dream team. I came to win. Yes, hey, yes, hey, yes, hey, hey. Yeah, I mean. yes, And I remember how summer high went up. I couldn't fight, so the blood... Oh. Hello everybody, welcome back to the 713 Houston Sports, it's Mr. 713, hope you guys are having a blessed, a blessed Tuesday, guys, y'all be safe out there if you're in Houston, we have floods going on right now, also if you want to be in the Houston Texans group chat, I added a bunch of people, drop your ad below, I'll make sure to add you, you know, actually you, you follow me and then you DM me, right, that's at 713HSP, at 713HSP, so let's go on with the video. This Houston Texans team has been disappointing on on the offensive side of the ball. The defensive side of the ball, I couldn't be more happier. And, you know, yes, yeah, yes, we gave up big points against the Chiefs. Yes, we gave up big points against the Raiders. But what was advertised this season was that this offense was going to be absolutely spectacular. It was a defense that was going to hinder this team, and that's why the offense needed to be so great. Flip that around against the Baltimore Ravens. I'm going to continue to say it. Defense did his job that would have that gave the Texans a chance to be in the game. Right? I mean, those 14 points off turnovers didn't help you. That horrible uh, fourth and one play action didn't help. That's a whole 17 points that the offense, you know, failing lets the defense give it up. And with a team like the Baltimore Ravens, you can't give them their chances. You can't give them that opportunity. You can't give them those little gimmies. The defense has been better than expected with the little talent they have. J.J. Watt played phenomenal. Jacob Martin, who was a fifth-round pick, had impact. Ominihu, who you dropped in the fifth round, had impact. Cunningham was okay, but McKinney was okay. I mean, the secondary didn't allow... A receiver over 70, 60 yards. It is the offense that is the problem, and it circles all around to Bill O'Brien. This is Bill O'Brien's offense. This is his team. He drafted in free agency. This is his squad. And now we're seeing this offense really fail, and I mean, not even fail, but fail miserably. The offensive line, who we expected to be much better, who I expected to be much better, looks horrible again. And that goes back to coaching. Mike Devlin is the offensive coordinator for the Houston Texans. Who chose him? Bill O'Brien. Tim Kelly is looking worse than O'Brien. Who chose him? Bill O'Brien. You know, it all comes back to you. It really does. I mean, you know, that's the beauty of you being the GM and the head coach. There's nobody else to blame but you. And I'm not saying right now we should fire Bill O'Brien. I'm not saying right now give him the axe. But at one point, do you say, hey, enough is enough? We we are supposed to be maybe not even beating the Chiefs and the Ravens, but being competitive. Look at the morale of the team. The morale of the team is horrible. Deshaun Watson looks, his body language looks like he's flustered. If you see about on the team, they're like this. They don't even look engaged. And it mainly has to do with the offense. We were promised big plays. We were promised the Legion of Zoom. Some of these wide receivers can't get open. And that's a scheming problem. We have talent. Yes, we do. We have talent. It just it, At the end of the day, everything comes down to coaching. Everything does. You, you, you just played against two good head coaches. One great one, and Andy Reid. And you played two great quarterbacks. Now you got to do it again. You got to go against a very, very good coach in Mike Tomlin. And you got to go against a good quarterback in Ben Roethlisberger. You know, that's a game that the Houston Texans can probably win. I'm going to tell you right now. But they're not going to win if this offense doesn't put them in a position to win. If they're, they, like, is there a chance the Texans go 0-3 and Bill O'Brien gets fired? I don't know. Like, this is one of those videos where I leave the questions up to you, guys. Should the Houston Texans, if 0-3, just get rid of them? I, personally, I say it's not time yet.
Ruben, what are you saying? What are you doing? You have to give him the no preseason, no full training camp. If he goes 0-4, 0-5, oh, okay, all right. Look, you got to get the can out of you. You know, you got to cut ties with them. But I just think it's funny how everything's coming full circle. There's nobody else to blame. You got rid of Rick Smith. You got rid of Brian Gain. There's nobody to blame but Bill O'Brien. We're going to see what happens in the next couple of weeks. That's the beauty of football is after one game, you only got six more days until it gets going once again. But as always, guys, go Texans. Let, I really want to know what you guys think. I do read all of your comments. Y'all have a blessed day.